Hey, everybody, it's the coach. You're tuned in to Sunday Night Football on EA Sports. Coming up, we've got a good one between the Buffalo Bills and the Pittsburgh Steelers. So with that, let's get you up to Heinz Field in Pittsburgh. Standing by for the call, here are Brandon Godden and Charles Davis. All right, Coach, it is a cold night in western Pennsylvania as we bring you inside Heinz Field here in Pittsburgh. This was the scene just a few moments ago as the Pittsburgh faithful were fired up by the hometown Steelers taking the field. They're all set as they'll match up with the Buffalo Bills. Brandon Gordon, Charles Davis on hand. And Charles, we've got two teams here certainly with something to prove after a disappointing 2017. Let's be honest about it. Their playoff aspirations, they went splat, didn't they? They've got to prove now to themselves and to their fans, are they one of those teams that's ready to move back up, or are they one of those teams that really has to rebuild? Stephen Hauschka now about set to get this one started. And with towels waving, we're underway from Heinz Field. This will be taken in at the one. And a pretty good return here. He'll be stopped just shy of the 25. So here are the Steelers now to take over for the first time. And leading them, Charles, their quarterback, their field general. And I liked what his head coach told us about him this week, that no matter what happens, he, whether he throws seven interceptions or seven touchdown passes, he's the same assertive leader in the huddle on each and every play. He can throw the seven interceptions, just blame the football, blame anything else, and still carry himself like he is the man. It's like you, assertive in our production meetings. Well, especially when we're talking, talking about ordering dinner, hey, ordering snacks. I was snacks. just going to say. That's, that's where I go. You, you, you. This is a guy who made a Pro Bowl in his second season, James Conner. And this will leave him a yard short. Nice pickup of nine yards on first down. Nine yards is the pickup there, and they'll have a second and one. Well, I think that's what they're going to need to do here in the first half. You've got to take some pressure off of this young quarterback, and no better way to do it than to establish the running game early. On second down. It's Connor, and he went nowhere. Well, he went backwards, back to the 33. It'll go as a loss of a yard, and it'll set up third down. All right, quick observation, Brandon, because early on in this game, I'm seeing linebackers playing with their noses close to the line of scrimmage. And my guess is the wheels are turning on that other sideline. As a play caller, you're filing that away right now, aren't you? Yeah, you're trying to find that opportunity later on when you can play action them or stick something to them between the second and the third level. An early test. Two plays in. This is third and two. They'll try to run for it with Connor. And he's able to get the first before he's taken down at the 36. Give him three yards and a fresh set of downs. Defense had a chance to get off the field here in the opening drive, couldn't do it. I know that we go into these meetings with coaches and sometimes maybe we can get, you know, a little bit numb because they're always going to talk about how important third down is, aren't they? Offense and defense. In this case, one capitalized and the other, as you said, had a chance to get off the field and didn't get it done. So from the 36 now, first and 10. Throwing now, Hodges on first down. And the coverage terrific there as that's knocked down and incomplete. Vance McDonald, the tight end, was the target. But it's going to be second down. And a peek now at the offense for Pittsburgh. In the center for Pittsburgh, Marquise Pouncey, one of the most physical and agile players at his position in the league. A seven-time Pro Bowler, two-time All-Pro. He's a keystone of one of the top offensive lines in the league. They'll try again from the 36 on second and 10. Again on second and 10, it's Hodges. Setting up the screen, this is Samuels. And he'll be taken down, but not before he gets into enemy territory. Pittsburgh getting 16 yards there and also a first down. 
I like the screen being called here early in the game, especially on the opening drive, because, Brandon, when guys come out of the locker room, especially those pass rushers, they are so amped up to get to the quarterback that you can use that against them, and a screen pass is a great way of doing it. A lot of teams against good pass rushing teams, they want to run the screen 10 to 12 times in a game. So first and 10 now in Buffalo territory at the 49-yard line. On first and 10 is counter. A minimal gain as we tick down inside of a minute remaining in the opening quarter. And we take a look at the Bills' defense. Throw the ball at your own peril when Jordan Poyer is in the lineup in the last two seasons. He's been in the top 10 in interceptions both years and second on the team in tackles in 2018. An all-around terrific center field type of a safety. The last run got a couple. Here's second and eight. That's going to be a long day. That's going to be a long day. On second down, Connor looking for space. Give him three on the run there. Now they're looking at a third and about five. One thing to keep in mind, partner, especially in the second half, when you've got a running back of this size, of these dimensions, I can just tell you, attrition does set in for a defense because you're excited about hitting him in the first half. Maybe not so much in the second half, and some of these shorter gains turn into bigger runs later. And he finds McDonald. And he's got a first down as a tackle made at the Bills 26. No score after one on EA Sports. down Connor and he is going to lose yardage here that's going to wind up a loss of a full three yards on first down it's probably a pretty good sign here on the opening drive if your guys from the secondary are coming up and spilling things in the backfield how about the adrenaline and aggressiveness that led his eyes to the backfield to run up there and make that tackle setting a tone early for his defense That loss of three, a rare stumble on a promising drive. Here's second and 13. They go draw play. This is Samuels. And he was able to shed the tackle, but the reserves come in for the stop. It'll be a five-yard pickup there. So from second and 13, they're back to a more manageable third and eight. Despite the blitz, they're still able to pick up a nice, solid gain. The disadvantage of blitzing often alters the normal spacing and run fits and leaves creases like they were able to exploit right there. On third down, Hodges. That went into the hands of his tailback, Samuels. And they'll work it inside the 15-yard line before it's all said and done. 157 to go in this first half on EA Sports. Here we go. A reminder coming up at halftime, we'll check in with our Jonathan Coachman. He'll have highlights and analysis of the first half, and our highlights will likely be on the defensive side of the football here. Scoreless game. Open man completes it to Smith Schuster. And he couldn't quite get there. Tackled down at the one. Back-to-back -back nice plays. 12 yards that time and a first down. Set. 90 Wolf. Wildfield, Wildfield. Come. Get it. They'll try to run it. This is Kyle. Zone. Touchdown, Steelers. 
punching it in from a yard away. And the Steelers take the ball down the field and score on their opening drive. Well, that drive felt like it took up an eternity. We finally have some action on the scoreboard. Yeah, but plenty of action prior to because that drive took up all the first quarter before we spilled into the second. And finally, points were registered. On the other sideline, they're chomping at the bid just to get the football. Extra point put through by Boswell. And that makes the score 7-0. So that one a 13-play drive in total. And it was a touchdown run by James Conner that was the exclamation mark. Boswell now to kick it away after the touchdown. This is taken. And nice work on the return as they'll start their drive just past the 30-yard line. So here are the Bills now under third-year man Sean McDermott. They'll be led out by the seventh overall pick in 2018 from Wyoming. It's Josh Allen. And his task in this situation is making sure this team knows that there's a sense of urgency yet somehow still stays calm because your natural impulse, your first possession is not until the second quarter, is you got to attack right away. Throw something big at them right away. Yeah, you've got to move the ball, but maybe be a little bit careful in doing so. Line of scrimmage, the 31 now on first and 10. So the shotgun snap to Allen. He'll try and run it. This will be stopped about two yards shy of the marker. Eight-yard gain, second and two. Now, that was not a bad scramble there on first down. He didn't force it, nor did he throw it away. He was able to take off, and now he made it a very manageable second and short. Now the Bills are going to use the first of their timeouts as they'll stop it with just over a minute to go before halftime. To throw again on second down. Allen, and he finds Tyler Croft. Now the Bills will use the second of their timeouts as the stoppage will come with a little under a minute to go in this first half. Back-to-back -back good plays have them on the move on first down. This is a draw play. Allen gives to Singletary. And he'll be brought down somewhat awkwardly here and a late flag as well. I think this one's going to be a face mask. Officials so cognizant of that call nowadays, but that one looked pretty easy. Yeah, you're right. They took out of their hands having to wonder whether it's a 5-yard or a 15-yard inadvertent or not. Now, it's a lot easier. You see it, you call it. Now it's first and ten. A big mistake, especially when you factor in the personal foul yardage. From the gun, it's Allen. Man open, that's Robert Foster complete. And he's going to get a solid gain of nine before being brought down. Second and right at a yard. As far as undrafted players go, Philip Lindsay took most of the headlines a season ago. But remember, Robert Foster was undrafted out of Alabama as well, signed with the Bills in May of 2018 and had a pretty good year. 27 catches, 541 yards. Throwing again on second down. Allen, he's got the connection to Cole Beasley. 
And he'll be a couple yards shy of the red zone here at the 22-yard line. Seven yards there and a first down. Now a timeout signaled for, and they'll get it with 10 seconds to go before halftime. So even though it's first down, here's the field goal unit on now to try to get three before halftime. From the left hash, this from 39. And the 11-year veteran bangs it through. And they are on the board, but still trailing. It's seven to three. So yes, they'll still be down going into intermission, but the deficit is now made even smaller, very manageable. Yeah, and if nothing haywire happens here in his last couple of precious seconds, they will go into the locker room with a nice bounce in their step, having gotten a little bit closer on the scoreboard. After the main field goal, Hauschka back out onto the field to kick it away. This is fielded a couple yards deep. And he'll get across the at about the 23-yard line. The Pittsburgh offense at the line to start their next drive. Time for a final kneel down or a safe run, and then they can head to the locker room with a lead. Yeah, or they can even run a screen. You know, something they feel is somewhat safe that might actually pop and turn into a big play, that's what you usually run in this situation. Or go four verticals because why not? Because you're feeling it, right? <laughs> you're just feeling it. Okay, right, Brandon. Thanks very much. And welcome in, everyone, to this slimmed-down version of the EA Sports Halftime Report. This one has been a hard-hitting affair to this point, and you got to expect we'll see more of the same in the second half. And to bring the action your way, let's get it right back out to Brandon God. All right, Coach, thank you, and we welcome everyone back for quarter number three. Both teams appear ready for the fight ahead, and we resume action here in quarter number three. This is fielded a couple yards deep. And this return nets positive as he gets past the 25 and up to the 27-yard line. Out come the Bills now as he'll go on offense first here in this third quarter. And with the way this offense has played thus far, to be frank, they got to feel pretty grateful to be in the ball game. I would agree with you totally because they've done all of nothing offensively in this game, yet they still find themselves in a position on this drive where a touchdown can give them the lead. They need to take advantage of it. And they're still looking for that first touchdown here in the third quarter. All they have so far, the field goal. Allen and the Bills now with a first and 10 at their own 27. Working out of the shotgun. Here's Allen. Got an open man. It's Foster. That throw good for four. It's second down. Four yards on that last completion, so that sets up second and six. On second down, here's a run with Singletary. And he is met in his tracks behind the line of scrimmage. That'll be a loss of a yard, and it leads to a third down. 
up front, the struggles continue for this offense among the line. What, what can they do? Change the play calling? What? I think part of that, yes, changing some of the play calls, some screens, some draws, some misdirection. You want to run any type of a play that will influence these guys and continue to get upfield and find a way to use that against them and slip things in behind them. So some quick passes could work as well. You can't block me. Throwing is Allen on third. And that is incomplete. But it appears they're going to come up empty on this first drive of the second half, still down by that slim margin. Yeah, and that's okay. You know, when, when you sit and analyze it, they're not happy about what happened, having to go to the bench. But this gives them a chance to let their defense do some work while they on the sidelines go over what they're doing offensively and formulate a proper plan. The Bills send the punter out. And surprisingly, this is the first punt of the game for either team. And he'll get this away into the icy winter air. Good open field tackling there. A 50-yard punt followed by just a one-yard return. And the Steelers will go on offense here, first and ten. Time for the Steelers' offense now to get set for their first possession of half number two. They have the lead here. Well, we talk a lot about pregame speeches. What are halftime speeches like? For the most part, not nearly as emotional. They're a lot more clinical. Every now and then, though, they'll get after you if they think they need to light a fire. But in this case, let's go into the virtual locker room because here's what I think happened. They got in there and they said, listen, Let's take control right away. Yeah, Defense, we got the lead. Yeah. We got the, de we got the, we got the lead. Defense, don't give up any points. Turn the ball back over to the offense and let them go down and score and give us more of a cushion in the game. Check so far. Defense shut them down. Let's see if the offense gets done. One thing you're hoping for when you run drag routes, you're able to hit a receiver in stride and he can pick up a lot of yardage after the catch. But in this situation, the defense was effective, able to stop him before he could get a good head of steam going. Here's Hodges looking to throw. Under a heavy rush and down he goes. That sack by Tremaine Edmonds. We are seeing two really confident defenses imposing their will on these offenses in this game. Yeah, absolutely, going toe for toe. Just curious if one of these offenses can wake up a little bit. Is there any way they can find something that can pop, something big to knock them back on their heels? After the sack, they'll come up now third and long. Yeah, I wouldn't be surprised to see them run the ball here just to try and get some space. Uh, no run call here. They'll look to throw instead. That's incomplete, but there is a flag down. So hang on. A big call coming on third down. Trying to defend the out route there. Got the P.I. call. And you know what's difficult about that one is sometimes you want to make the undercut move and go for the football, and other times you just want to hang on the upfield shoulder and make the tackle. I think he got caught in between and created a foul. Here we go. Set. 60 or. He's tied to me. He's tied to us. On first down. It's Connor. And he is met at the line of scrimmage, and he goes down right there. Tremaine Edmonds there to bring him down. Sometimes with the running game, you've just got to stick with it. Look, it's the third quarter, no time to panic. But that also doesn't mean you just do it the same way you've been doing it the entire Go ball down. game. Maybe change up some blocking assignments or run a few different plays, but stay with the overall essence of the running game. And he's got his man, the tight end, McDonald. 12 yards that time at a Pittsburgh first. One of the advantages of zone defense, as I remember it, is being able to see the play develop in front of you. One of the disadvantages, when they find those levels where they can hit you with it, sometimes behind the corner and in front of the safety, it makes it tough to defend. Two first downs have them up to the 41 now for first and 10. Hodges, that'll be taken in there by James Washington. And he'll go down, and that will do it for the third quarter of action. Back now in Pittsburgh. It's Steeler football, and they have the lead as well as we begin quarter number four. Okay. 
So first and 10 now in Buffalo territory at the 43. Now Hodges on first down. He'll find Smith-Schuster. That's complete. And brought down, but able to get it to their 30-yard line. It's a Pittsburgh first down, a gain of 13. These guys are running offense like you drive. The pedal is down, stomped down. How about that? Back-to-back -back completions. They are rolling. So much for being conservative and running that football. So first and 10 now from the 30. Let's go, defense. Let's go, defense. Oh, here we go. Ready, ready. Here's Connor. That's a gain of four here in the fourth quarter with them leading by four on the scoreboard. Fourth quarter, down to the final two minutes, and we've got a one-score game. So the Steelers with the football as we get you reset. They've got a second down now as they search for a way to get this one to the finish line. Again, it's Connor. And now we'll see a timeout used on defense out of the break with 1.57 to go in the ball game. Now this is a big third down, and you'd have to think we'd see a timeout right away if they can't stop him here. On third down, it's Connor, and he will have the first before he's brought down right on the chalk of the 20. And whistles, and we're going to have another stoppage of play as they call the timeout on defense with 1.53 left. And not totally home free yet, but it's looking good as they come up first and 10. Connor. And he's tackled a yard short of the marker. Good gain of nine on first down. The Bills are going to go ahead and use their final timeout as they'll talk things over prior to this upcoming second down play. Another yard would probably put this thing in the books. It's second and one. That one looks like he'll throw here. And this is incomplete. It was Teron Johnson that time who had that play covered from the start. How about the defensive effort from both of these teams that we've seen in this game? Would you say it's like a high-stakes chess match right now? Uh, Chess is one way to go. Uh -huh. Yeah, I like it. Okay, the only reason I say that, you feel like they're contemplating their moves before actually making one and none of them being done very confidently. Truth be told, I've never played chess, and I know that I'm not smart enough to play chess. Guys like you with your IQ, you can pull that off. And they got three yards. That's enough. A conversion, and now it's first and goal. Hasn't had his best game running the football here tonight, but, hey, that's a critical spot right there to convert on third down, and he did it. And the lights are shining just a little bit brighter right now, aren't they? You remember the beginning of the game? If he gets this first down, everybody's happy. That's cool. But here... That was critical, and it really energizes it. It's first and goal and a late touchdown at this stage. Could officially salt this one away. They'll run here with Connor. And he'll be stopped just outside the five at the six. He'll get two out of that run, and it's going to bring up a second and goal. Be interesting to see now what they do offensively down near the goal line after not much there that time. As the offensive play caller, that may change your sequence now. Instead of coming right back with a running play, you may have to go to the air. The six-yard line, the line of scrimmage on second and goal. And the knee is taken for the Steelers out of the victory formation. I don't know about you, partner, but watching them take the knee there and finish this one off, I feel like I'm going to be sore tomorrow. This was one bruising affair. Low scoring, 
but my kind of football. Not a work of art, but maybe in your world, a little bit of a work of art. You like the defensive side. I thought it was pretty. I can't help myself. I thought it was pretty. And it ends in a kneel down as the clock rolls down to zeros. Well, Charles, the old saying, the old cliche, if you will, points at a premium. That certainly applied here, didn't it? And that almost felt like opened up a time capsule, didn't it? Old school football, low scoring, close game. What a way to finish it up. You loved it, didn't you? You I loved did. the defenses. I certainly did. Brought back the images of the game of old. So that's a wrap for Charles Davis. I'm Brandon Gordon, and this has been a presentation of the NFL on EA Sports. For more, check us out at easports.com. The Steelers are winners as we say so long from Heinz Field.